I'm honored to be here attending the 50th anniversary of The Ohio State University Archives and to be speaking with you as I sit on Woody Hayes' personal couch, the best damn couch in the land, to see all the wonderful treasures that uh, are housed here at the Ar University Archives. My son is doing his PhD in military history. When I retired, I started coming here because he told me how great a library you had. And so I started going to the library, come down, see him, and go to the library. I became a friend of the library, and I got my favorite seat up on the eighth floor by the window, and I had all the military books on the eighth floor, and I would go and I'd read a book. And he would refer to another book. And guess what? I could say, oh, there's the book it refers to. So I'd go get that one. Then there would be referred to another book, and I'd go and get the other one that was referred to. And then it'd say, well, these maps. And guess what I would do? I'd go down to the second floor to the map room. And I, I couldn't take the maps out, but I would look at them and see, oh, that's how that strategy works. So it's fascinating. And being friends of the library since I retired three years ago, I just love coming down, even though I live about a hundred and some miles away. Um, we lived at Mac, or I lived at Mac Hall. He was a constant visitor. And we played down in the uh, rec room with the, mem the members of the football team. Well, they were all excited because they thought, is it Jim Brown or who is the Brown that they thought was going to come coach Ohio State then? Paul Brown. Paul Brown. Okay, they thought Paul Brown was going to come. So this was 51. Well, by next year, of course, it wasn't Paul Brown, it was Woody Hayes. Hayes. That's, that's the name you want. <laughs> it was Woody Hayes. And um, momentarily, they weren't all that happy. Brown carried a little more weight with him at that, at that time. And of course, we all know the end of that story. One special memory um, doesn't even have to do with me, but um, more with my grandparents, my dad's parents, who were students at The Ohio State University in the um, mid-1930s. Hearing stories from them about their time here uh, were always special to me. Um, for instance, my grandfather uh, rented a room from the band director who created Script Ohio, and he would tell me stories as I was growing up about coming home from class and seeing all these neat, elaborate designs uh, that the director had created for the band. And my library story is that when I was a sophomore studying at the library in the winter quarter, snowy outside, icy outside. And as I left the library, my boyfriend-to-be appears in a new Austin Healy driving through the snow over the steps to pick me up. He swayed me away. And we did get married, but let's not tell the rest of the story. Go Bucks. Uh, one of my favorite Ohio State memories was, as a university ambassador, I would give tours to prospective uh, college students here who were coming looking at the college. And I remember one time on a tour, a father of a prospective student was walking across the Oval. And he was like, hey, I know this place. I remember this. You know, I can see it from TV. And uh, the daughter to was like, yeah, Dad, like you're a real Buckeye now. And just the face that he made, he just lit up. And you could tell how much it meant to him that even though he was not um, a student at Ohio State or alumnus of Ohio State, that just the opportunity for his daughter to come here and really make a difference for herself was just overwhelming to him. And that really struck me, just how much the school means to everyone, not only in Columbus or in the state of Ohio, but really across the country and across the world. It makes me so proud to be a Buckeye. And my favorite Ohio State memory is probably this past year when I went down to Dallas, Texas with my family after the national championship game and I was able to sit in the student section with all my senior friends and then of course when Ohio State won, probably one of the most memorable times I've had at Ohio State. And a favorite OSU memory would have to be my high school agricultural science teacher bringing me to campus when I was a senior and telling me he thought I ought to be a teacher and that I ought to go to Ohio State. And we were driving through campus during a class change and he said, can you see yourself here? And I started crying and said, I never dreamed I would be here. And I remember a friend and I riding the campus bus around campus and we would go at the, at the east part of the Oval and we'd keep looking at this god-awful ugly mess thinking that that Wexner place is never going to be built by the time we, do you think it'll be done before we graduate there's no way oh my god what are they doing they can't even, they don't even look at the lines and we're there we thought 
there was no way it was going to be done before we graduated. But it did. It's so cool. Wonderful uh, memories. Go ahead. You go first. Well, we're all we we all graduated in the late eighties. We all uh, lived in some more dorms. We actually lived on the same dormitory floor and met, and that's how we got married. Joe and I met in Stradley Hall. We were floor mates our freshman year, and that was a long time ago. Um, we just became good friends after that when we graduated and have stuck together all the time. So, yeah, they live in Zanesville. We live in Westerville, and we meet at Ohio State often, actually. That's right. That's right. So, attending Ohio State was awesome. <laughs> There's so many memories, I wouldn't even know where to begin. You know, uh, Mirror Lake, always loved that. I'm actually a third generation OSU grad. My grandmother, Cordelia Garber Schaffner, graduated in 1916, was a Phi Beta Kappa. My mother graduated from here in 1939 as a dual degree. My grandfather was a professor of botany from 1898 to 1939 when he died. Very proud of my uh, parents and grandparents who went here. Once it's in your blood, it's, it's hard to get rid of. It. My granddaughter uh, is on the staff here at Ohio State, and they asked, invited the staff to participate with the band at a practice, and she said, uh, well, instead of uh, me doing that, could my grandmother take my place? Because uh, she was a drum major in her, her high school, and that was the biggest thrill. I didn't think it would ever happen. And it did happen, and we were out on the, in the shoe in the stadium, and it was a wonderful experience. The highlight of my life, I think, besides my, the birth of my three children. <laughs> December 11, 2011, I had my entire family up here uh, to watch me graduate. And as I accepted my degree, I asked President Gordon Gee for a hug instead of a handshake. And he flew up to me with his arms wide open. And I have a picture of the memory and anything and everything I could ask for that came out of that degree. I graduated with a master's from Ohio State in 1984 in education. <clears throat> Having taught before, I do notice how students interact, how people behave, and so on. Well, I was very excited when my daughter went to Ohio State, and as she was working on her degree, she worked at the Student Call Center. So one day, my mother and I came up to visit her, and we walked in and met all of the students that were working there that night. Um, they were very polite, uh, very courteous, very friendly. It, it just kind of made you believe in mankind and humanity again, and they were from all over the world. So go Buckeyes. Uh, I was an undergraduate student here back in, I uh, started in 1976, and, and this is not the first time that I've sat on this couch. Uh, I was the manager of the basketball team when I was here at Ohio State with Eldon Miller from 1976 to 81, and back then the basketball and football offices were on the same floor in St. John, and uh, lots of nights I would be up at St. John Arena in the basketball offices studying and working on things, uh, goofing off. And I'd walk down the hall and there'd be Coach Hayes still in his office. So I would walk in and being a boy from the country, I wasn't intimidated because I didn't know any better. So I just would talk to him and sit down on his couch. And, and he was a great person and a great individual to talk to. So that's probably my fondest memory of Ohio State or one of my fond memories uh, in addition to meeting my wife here.